Right, uh, good afternoon. Um, we are the OJK Aussie. I'm Angel. Kelsey. Giselle. Omar. Um, so basically, we're going to start off with uh, what a CFIT is. And what it is, is basically finding a real world solution to a real world problem. So basically, we get, for, like, for example, pipes, noodles, rovers, and we start building it up so we can get it underwater and start like retrieving waste. like wasteland, like yeah. stuff that goes in the ocean. Okay, for the Sea Perch Challenge pool event, we had three challenges. The first thing we did when we got out to the lake was swim around for 10 or 15 minutes to test the propellers and make sure everything was working as planned. After that, we put our perch right next to the wall. We had to go out to full extension to reach the border that first started in Alpha County company helped That was time to raise. We had to go out and come back. The second challenge we did was at first our dance we had to throw in different objects and we had to retrieve them with the hook we built. We put on that and then we, that was also time. That taught us that we could help use our perch to help out polluted areas in the ocean. So Omar originally made like the design of the perch. Well, I had the idea of making our shape, but basically I took it from the original shape of how it was all built, but then we modeled it a little bit more. Maybe a little bit less stuff that, that I thought, and I talked to also my teammates about, having a little bit less stuff made it probably go faster or slower. But originally it would have like two pipes on the top. I'm sorry, two what? Two pipes on the top. Two PVC pipes on the top. And the between bottom, like the middle. And the so it would form one. like a rectangle. Basically, like a little cube rectangle shape. But then we come up with this. Because the first idea didn't work out as we wanted. So, yeah. so right. we tweaked it to like our liking and how we thought it would better work for us. So when we originally put the purge in the water, we originally had three motors, but one teammate or one team didn't come. So everyone started taking parts from them. So we started getting like other parts. So we got a fourth engine and another propeller. And I made it work by using what First Sergeant said, by like helped us um, connecting the green wire with the brown wire. And we made four work. So we could have used that during competition, but during competition, we didn't have the fourth one. So you added it after competition? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we learned how to like make it work together, and that helped us because we could have made like more ideas before to put the fourth propeller. And like Kelsey also made the net. So my idea was that the net was used for was to block out the seaweed and other trash that would get caught in the back of these two, and right there. So I put the net so that they would get past. Cause and first our was saying. Like, oh, what if like seaweed gets caught? So like, Kelsey's first idea was like, let's use a net to like cover that up. But we also had like the problem like on this side. So we were just like talking about like, how are we gonna make this float? When we originally put it in the water, we thought it was gonna swim like this, but it ended up going upside down. So like we learned how to like control it. So we can like, we put that in our notebook because we learned all the different controls. So you had to reverse your controls. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, so I mean, you, you briefly talked about your design objective up here. Okay, so how many how many different design iterations or times did you change? Just twice, because we originally made it bigger, like you said. We okay, so you only had two that. different changes that you guys made. Yes. Because well, adding a motor that's a third, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm talking about every time you changed it. How many, how many times do you think you, how many, how many different ones do you think like you got? Four times. Four total? Yes. Okay. And um, so what was your biggest design challenge in, when you, once you narrowed it down and that's what you decided you were going to go with, um, when you were swimming it, whether it was out there or hands on or when you were still building it, what was your biggest challenge that you guys came across? Like sinking it. Originally, like one of the things we had was two like floaties on each pipe, 
and that was too much, so like it would, wouldn't sink, it would just like go in circles. So we took those out and only left the two in the back. Okay, so your, your buoyancy, right? Yes. Okay. Um, what, is there anything that you guys found, um, like a technique or a process that you came up with wasn't in the manual and you were like, no, this, it, it works better if we do it this way. A way of soldering or a way of uh, anything. There's n nothing that you guys came up with that was... For soldering, we used two people. One would hold the coil and the other one would first, like, burn it. Okay. Because the first, we had um, a lot of <coughs> circuit board, so we couldn't, like, transfer the um, bronze wire to the circuit board. So we couldn't like find the energy, so we had to use another one. So that was like our problem. And the book says we have to like, <coughs> use only one person, but we used two people, and it made okay. it quicker. What about design trade-offs you guys made, where um, because maybe your your rover, I don't know. Okay, so one of the teams, I won't say which one, they had a, a large rover. And then they realized that it needed to be smaller, so they, they maybe had to trade off their size for speed. You yeah, understand what I'm saying? Too. So, I mean, so you did, you had yeah, to trade off. It was off. originally really big, but it was like, I guess the size, it was really big. So me and Angel started like cutting it in half. So all the measurements are half. Of what we made was. it smaller so it could go faster instead of taking it away and going slower. Is that what it did? Yes. Okay. Um, all right. What about recommendations for your future designs? If you, if you had to do this again, is that the same design you would go with? Do you think you would change something up? How would you, what would you do? Mm, I would change uh, how, how the design looks on the approach itself. Right? Make sure that all the weight is equally and all parts of the rover instead of just one part being too heavy and one part being too light. So in that way, we can add more speed and we can save more time. So it'd be more balanced, huh? Yes. Even off the weight. Okay. Um, when you were building, how precise was your building? Were you, did you guys measure yes. like all the pieces and parts or did you guys say, oh, okay, this one looks pretty good. I think no, this will no. fit. We measured all we okay, so you measured and then cut? The ruler and we marked it down. Yeah. Oh, the length of it. We cut it half of what it originally was. We got our cutters and cut it. Okay. Uh, so do you guys have your original engineering notebook? Yes. Yes. That's the original? Yes. That looks pretty neat. Oh. Would you like to see it? Yes. <laughs> I don't think this is the composition book I gave you guys either. What's with that, Omar? <laughs> huh? Um, <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know where you guys, who wants to look at it first? Okay. Um, do you have everything in the notebook the way that it's supposed to be so that when I start going through it and making check marks, do you have your cover page, your team information pages, all the stuff that was on that rubric that I gave you guys. Remember this? Yes. So is it all in there? No. No? no? What are we missing? The details of like step by step. 24 pages. So the content section? Yes. What about references? Yes. Yeah, we have that. We have you have references? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Um, I don't know. You guys you have questions? I've been asking all the questions. Sorry. You're good. Um, what did you guys, what's the biggest thing you learned from the project? Um, the Whether it's a technique or just the process of designing something or? Well, we started books on the design and for it next year as we go, we just have to change it, make sure everything's balanced out, uh, make sure that the propellers can be easily changeable just in case if it goes another direction or it just uh, it gets messed up. And yeah. And make 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 the make the controller 
like more simple. So if you want to turn right, you just move up and down. You don't need to have multiple. So it seems complicated. Good job. Is there? Uh, you got? You have any more questions? No, that's good. Yeah. You have any more questions? Um, no. Anything else you guys want to tell us? Last things you want to say? Okay, good job. Thank you very much.